is fun. Story time. Shh. Be very, very quiet. Shh. Don't want to interrupt the flow. <laughs> Don't you know? Welcome, love from love, hope from hope, and peace. Kingdom Age, peace style. From our Lord of, of love. These are the days of the rising of the Kingdom Age. So, beloved, it's time for a word of praise. For we are created as the shiniest butterflies of all, because the first are last and the last are first. Oh, peculiar people. Oh, royal priesthood of Elohim, Adonai. Let the color purple saturate ever so deeply into your minds. For the robe of Herod given unto Christ was of his royal color. And within my vision, the angel of our Lord of hosts told me that he would someday fall Upon, that I would someday fall upon my face very emotionally after seeing that the Lamb of God's head is like fine pure gold and his forehead upon thereof is stamped 777 by the outstanding glory of his holy name, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who loves all evil people as they are in spite of their unholiness. And that is why in this hour he gives his kingdom age covenant written for all mankind. Jeremiah 32, 27. For by those blessed names above all others with his name of love leading the way. For by his love uh, those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. Uh, by his way of love, his loving people shall evermore be encircling him dearly with an eternal golden crown of many crowns as they praise him, beloved. And this is a word of promise. Behold the manifestation of Habakkuk 2, King James. I am the one foretold the just shall live by my faith, even though I have been transgressed by wine. And I am Shiloh of uh, Genesis 49, 12, whose eyes are dull and red of wine, which was never Jesus Christ. I am simply the uh, servant of the Lord of Isaiah 49. The whole chapter thereof is of me, who shall prepare the way of our Messiah, Malachi 3, 1, with the perfect preparation of his peace. Jeremiah 31, 33 to 35. And what is that? That is the Kingdom Age Covenant foretold for the latter days, Jeremiah 31, 1. And what happens then? Well, fullness of Romans uh, 11, fullness of Gentiles comes. And all faith before is obsolete, Hebrews 8, Kingdom Age time. And what's happening? Well, the veil has been ripped down. And uh, so lament, therefore, those to be slain by the burning heat of our own brainlessness and our own arrogance and our own pride. As gross darkness swiftly comes forth to rain with agony falling like some hard pounding rain, nor could anyone remain living upon the earth if the Lord's two olive trees and two candlesticks who are not the two witnesses of uh, the end. That's erasable. If we are not obeyed, this earth would be destroyed, as it is written. Days of Noah, Zephaniah 1, Isaiah 24, Malachi 4, 6, Deuteronomy 18, 18, Matthew 24, 22. But no one's going to believe me if they won't believe Jesus and Moses and Isaiah and Unto me, as Shiloh, the alcoholic, all the world's obedience must focus upon, as the word of God foretells. For this is the season when the spiritual wheat must leave the religious tares in order to end racism upon planet Earth. And this is the great falling away 
the great exodus foretold by Moses himself in Deuteronomy 18.18. 18. One like him would come forth, another exodus leader, another uh, gospel writer of the creation as Revelation 14 has foretold. First video under this channel. I'm just being ignored here for the last six months. It's pitiful the numbers uh, going up the way they are. No one, everyone's afraid. No one wants to go first. Everybody's sitting on their hands. No one's really talking about this. Uh, people should be making videos about this. Cr critique, critique me then. <laughs> Slam me. And uh, I welcome hate mail here because I'm going to publish it all because no one is left without any root or branch. This is the refiner's fire ministry that shall burn as days of an oven uh, because these are the days of, uh, of uh, Jeremiah 1.10 and Haggai 2.2 foretold that God said at the end he would tear down all the kingdoms of man, all the imaginations not built on the rock solid foundation of unconditional love and unconditional forgiveness. You can't have one without the other. You cannot be a person of love unless you're totally forgiving. Nor could anyone remain living upon earth if they w will stop being, if they won't stop being the walking dead, aimlessly walking. The dead who act not might as well be dead. You're standing by default. If you're going to do a be a do nothing, and you're not going to let your faith take action, then your faith is a knockoff. It's a counterfeit. It's phony as you are. So leave the station. In any event, I don't want to be too hard on ignorant people, but stop being ignorant to me. I've come to save this earth from ourselves. And the Lord has sent me by his breath of God that he breathed upon me mightily. <sighs> I must be obeyed. And I must not be ignored. People must start helping this ministry out. If you just want me to go away, fluff off over to Morgan uh, Knight's uh, Morg official YouTube channel. He is the reveal lawless one that had to happen before the Messiah could come back. He's the sword swallower of Freak Show who would die by a sword in Revelation 13, 13 and arise to ascend to become the Antichrist in the future that is erasable that shall not come because Jesus Christ Almighty is faithful to have performed his own word. He said that unless the prior age of grace was cut short by his word of Malachi 3, 1, his kingdom age covenant message and all things were restored, Matthew uh, 17, 11, that no flesh could be saved. So he is changing future. Uh, prophecy has never been told to foretell the future, but to change it. So all can be wiped away as he tears down the mountains as is foretold and lifts up the valley so all people will stand below the same love in God. And only then mankind would not even be spared if we will not turn around by the incoming frost and freezing cold of a real abnormal winter caught in the midst of that nearing summer of people's greatest discontent as people's religiosity overflows days burning as an oven, as cognitive dissidence drains every life blood of their former reality right out of them so that they could realize that nobody could understand what God's word was really saying unless the veil was ripped and it is only ripped for me. I am Elijah. I am Shiloh. I am the latter day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13. Know that for radioactivity and no air left to breathe would quickly be wiping out billions of, of pe foolish people like Noah's day much quicker than their flas fast fast fleeing smiles could be wiped off of their hardened faces if they will not put their love into action and quit sitting on their laurels and quit doing a lot of nothing is all that's going on out there. Uh, my appearance sh 
should be worldwide known by now. I've been preaching this for six months and nobody's giving me the time of day. They're just ignoring me, waiting to see if some other sucker goes forth first. <laughs> no one trusts their own uh, what the Bible says. Because what I'm saying is what the Bible says. Furthermore, many shall be slain, many ignoramuses, fools, shall be slain by lightning, cutting as a sword, and by hail, pounding as a hammer, if that's the future you want. Just keep doing nothing, and that's the future you will get. And many shall also drown in the sea because of the prophesied fury of the released seven winds. The Lord's terrifying anger, he's promising to return it unto himself if you will give him the desire of his heart for us to begin loving our enemies. And pestilence would also be a reaper amidst a harvest of abounding famine of ignorance as people do their very best not to take me seriously. That would kill countless multitudes, uh, 2.5 billion to begin with by the time the three evil horsemen of Revelation 6 foretold. So it's time, beloved, to turn around and uh, that we must. And the spirits of all those overthrown would speedily rise up. And behold, the demons of sickness who overthrew them by disease. And they would see their lack of burial. For the pestilence cursing the globe, starting, just starting with COVID. If we will not come together, sink or swim time. If we won't pull together and swim together, we will sink together. And this will be totally destroyed. But praise God, I've seen the end of the story. The Lord has given me full disclosure so that I can give full disclosure unto the world so that the world no longer will be full of hatred, pain, and envy. And men in that, that erasable future, the shame if it has to not be erased, uh, men in that future would be stealing medicine from one another to give them to one another. Rewind that. And thereafter, it would be wax worse than before. That would be a time of no mercy. So bewail all them not hearkening unto God's latter-day word of patience, which I bring the interpretation thereof, Revelation 3. For such fools understand not that our Father of lights is covered with light as a garment, and his breath is in the mighty trees, and his hands are even busy within the deepest places of the earth. The strength of the hills is also his. The sea is his, and the hands of his living word form the dry land. And all the heavens evermore shall declare the utter glory of the Lord God as the firmament shows his most amazing power and action. Many wasted tears shall be falling, and all throughout the circle of the earth, many unfortunates would then live with much ignorance which would cause them to continually stumble in the gross darkness of their own imaginations and then they would be destroyed over their lack of knowledge as the prophet Habakkuk has told humanity that is what happens so now comes the disclosure of all the mystery of God Revelation 10 who will give meet unto the master's household while the master is still away. Matthew 24, he asked of the Elijah of Matthew 17, 11, who would restore all things. So the fools that ignore me shall be destroyed over their lack of knowledge and for their loveless refusal to obey the spirit of the almighty God. Habakkuk 2, it is time to run, 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 weep from away from the terrors the spiritual people must run away from the religious one to kill racism to flatline it across planet earth because the real truth is spiritual racism is the fuel to the fire of all racism and really it is that that is the underlying thing that must be destroyed because people hate you for what you believe or don't believe hate in the name of love. <laughs> I hate you in the name of love. 
with foolish people we have been desolate heritages had we as a 49 8 uh, the refusal to obey the Lord God by hearing the words of his message and believing them through these words of his exaltation woe therefore unto all ignorant souls who would perish because they w wouldn't bother hearing uh, more of this word of his patience which Jesus has promised would be setting multitudes free all people of the earth may now have their total disgrace removed upon this mountain as Isaiah 25 and Micah 4 4 accurately foretold welcome to the machine of the marriage supper of the lamb uh, the the veil has been ripped in the antiquity thousands of years ago almost 3,000 years ago God declared I am the Lord God of all mankind Jeremiah 32 27 and guess what the mystery of God is over because the covenant has been given to the proper people uh, Israel and all mankind and guess what's happened well uh, all nations become the Lord's immediately as soon as the seven trumpet sounds and it sounded first because the first was last last was first and all nations become the so what changed nothing <laughs> nothing at all the the veil to the kingdom age has just been ripped by he who was worthy to unseal the seal. And for this reason, our hero of heroes now promises his salvation, blood bought uh, and brought unto all those wrongly believing in works. Our, our righteousness has always been as filthy rags. All of our doctrine, all of our understanding, his ways have always been far higher than our own. Lean not unto your own understanding or be destroyed by your own stupidity if any man evil man watches uh, uh, God in a nutshell the choice watch that beloved and you can see that the Lord wants to save us all from the flames of hell where all the people go that would uh, uh, commit blasphemy of the Holy Ghost the uh, total letting our love wax totally cold and this is the truth. So let all evil embark on a devoted journey so their faith with an East Yeshua Jesus will spare them from being under the curse of all that kind of eternal death that we would cause judgment upon ourselves, the suicidal spirituality death. For the curses of the end uh, would cause and has caused the devil's shadow of lifelessness to be removed from this planet exactly as Daniel 12 foretold to give many religious people cold shoulders they won't like that noise because the devil's kept them in business an awful long time with their fear mongering ways and let all men uh, with faith real faith realize that icebergs would melt in these days burning as an oven as warm hearts suddenly freeze unto their undoing woe unto them with child for famines to kill and woe unto them who have children for pestilence to steal for death would bring all haters of this ministry unto our Lord God so that uh, their innocence would live if only they will let their love flare up and be born again those who love are born of God and know God because God is love then woe after woe to haters of this ministry would come forth as a flood of heartache overflowing upon all nations of all ignorant people as nation after nation of stupids arise with crumbling economies that would flare up like some uh, hot glowing molten iron and tribes all over the earth ignoring this message would then attack tribes of other soldiers of cities then attack each other and it is time to stop all this noise people so, shh, be good of the lord